Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are going to be starting an XCOM enemy within playthrough today. Uh, it's going to be kind of a little bit different. I'll go over what I'm going to be doing and whatnot. This is uh, Get Ready for XCOM 2. This is being played on the Xbox 360. I have it for PC, but uh, I play all my shit on my laptop and to record and play a game on my laptop. It doesn't work out well, so we'll be playing this on the Xbox. I don't know if I'll be playing XCOM 2 on the channel because it's only for PC. But I will be playing it, so we're going to be doing an XCOM 2 hype kind of playthrough, but it's going to be fun. I've been playing a lot of Witcher, if you guys have seen on my channel. So I'm going to do an Army of 6 play. Technically, it'll be Army of 7, because I'm going to have a, um, a, whatchamacallit, a guy to go on the Exalt missions. Uh, and so it's going to be Army of 6. If they die, I haven't quite decided if it's permanent death or if I'm going to bring them back like after... I don't know, five successful missions or something like that. Uh, and so that's going to be fun. I have all the gamer score for this game. Like, I played XCOM on the 360 a ton. Also, I played a ton on the PC. Uh, and so, yeah, I did everything that you could possibly do in this game uh, and got the gamer score. And I think I'm missing like two achievements on the original XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, but I, I got rid of that to get within because they're essentially the same game. This is, just has some new DLC. And so we're going to be playing on normal. It's going to be Iron Man, essentially, but I'm not going to have Iron Man on just in case um, the video messes up. I can go back and kind of fix it if uh, there's an issue. Uh, so I'm not going to turn Iron Man on, but it's going to be it's going to be Iron Man rules just without Iron Man checked. I just want to make sure. I don't want to turn that on for YouTube purposes, but I'll, I'm going to play the game just like it's on Iron Man, obviously. I'm not going to reload saves or like that unless... The only reason I'll reload a save is if a video has an issue. Uh, so um, let's go second wave options here. So I like to turn on aiming angles. It's uh, It can be good for you. It can be bad for you. But uh, the units receive an aim bonus the closer they are to flanking an enemy. And then I like uh, absolutely critical. A flanking shot will guarantee a critical hit. Uh, those are the things that I like to turn on. I don't think there's anything else I want to turn on. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. What I want, what I want on right there. Um, I played this game enough, so I think we're gonna just stick. I'm just gonna stick on normal. I usually play classic Iron Man, but I haven't played XCOM for like four or five months, so I'm gonna be rusty. And since I'm doing Army of Six, Seven, whatever you want to call it, uh, and the possibility of someone dying early is an issue, so I don't really want to worry about that. So we're just gonna play on normal. It's gonna rock on normal for now. So let's go ahead and start the game. I'll let the opening cutscene play. Hopefully I have the audio all set up and good, but um, I think it may be a little quiet, but it's better for them being a little loud, in my opinion. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought by degree will be bought by degrees to wield his sword. Buckminster Fuller. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last line of defense. 
Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. All right, so now we need to we got to pick our uh, our starting location. So I'm gonna go with Future Combat. All projects in the Foundry and the Officer. I'm gonna go with Asia. It's the biggest country, so it's the hardest to take anyway. And I want to get the Officer Training School stuff get up and running as soon as possible, so I can get up to six people, so that we can have our six people out on each mission. So that's what I'm gonna go with is Asia. So I've reduced kind of the beginner We're stuff, but here's the first mission. mission. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alright, so let's hop into this. Um, so one of my big issues with this is I'm not like the most patient dude. And so when I beat this thing on Classic and Impossible, dude, it was ridiculous. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Okay, there's the meld. We're gonna head over towards the meld. On my way. That's what we're looking for. Usually you can dash on the first turn, but I'm not gonna take any risks. I'm gonna play it kind of. Since this is Army of Six, and uh, Moving to position. I, I can, I'm willing to play a little bit more defensive. I think um, this should be all right. Usually when I'm playing this for fun, I usually play on normal or. Um, now. Normal or yeah, or up. easy normal classic. When I play it for fun, I really don't play it on impossible. If I'm looking for a challenge, though, I'll, I'll throw it on impossible. But uh, I really just enjoy this game. Um, I don't know. It's one of the games I enjoy to have a fun, easy time with, opposed to something too challenging. Uh, it sounds like Get a bitch way to play it, but that's kind of just how I am with this game. Okay, I'm gonna push her up to the to right here. I don't know if she's gonna find anything. Good, she didn't. I want to push her to here. Hopefully she doesn't see anything. There we go. Okay. Do I have a full squad of girls? I do. Which is good because I need to... I need to have um, at, at least four girls. Siri... Or wait. Is it... It's, it's going to be three or four girls. I don't know who I'm doing yet. I still have some time to decide. Okay, good. Gotta get all the meld I can, because I gotta get the psionic upgrades for the people. Alright, so let's have her move up to here. Alright, so far so good. Let's have her move... I need to worry about full cover more than I usually do. Sometimes if I can get a good shot, I'll put people not in full cover. So I need to pay more attention to that. And, uh... So I'm gonna haul ass over... Huh, do I wanna... Hmm. I don't really like the locations that I have, like the options. I'm just going to go to here for now with her. Let's overwatch everybody. Wait, where's the other meld? Is it in the kitchen? What was that? There, okay, so there's where the other meld is. Ah, she missed. Son of a bitch. Okay, now they're running. Okay, we got shots on all of them right now. Or both of them, not all of them. Um, I gotta remember how to play on Xbox, because I usually play on PC. I just don't record it, so... Hmm. Let me see if I can get one of these. Let's see if I can get her into range. Can she shoot from this cover on one? No. But I want to pop the door. Okay, I'll have her... I'll yeah, just have I'll these two over here Roger. overwatch for now. I don't know if I want her to move to full cover. I don't really know where I want to take her. Guess I could kind of... This isn't a great fallback position, but... We could move them... Um, hmm. 
I guess I'll take this 45% shot. Maybe it'll hit. Nope. Okay, but at least she's got some full cover going on. Um, I'm gonna run her over here for a long flank. I think I'll call it a turn there. Okay, they're gonna mine merge. Mine meld, whatever you wanna call it. He's gonna take a shot. Hopefully he misses. Yep, I only had a 20% shot at him, so I thought I thought I, he wouldn't have much better of a shot. So I'm gonna take this shot again. Okay, hit, but only for two damage. Okay. I'm just gonna move her here for now. We'll overwatch her. Okay, I'm gonna move her over to here. Oh, found more. Damn it, dude. Not good. Okay, good. They went out the back. Okay, she can't see anybody. So I'll overwatch her. And I'm gonna move her back to here. I'm not gonna... I don't think I'm gonna get that meld unless I eliminate all the hostiles in the area. I think that's the only way I'm collecting that meld. Is he gonna mine? No, oh, he's not. But she's got a shot in the back, I think. Nope, it's not who I wanted to take the shot, but that's fine. There's one dead. Maybe after this one, if this one goes over well, I might do another series and put it on, like, Classic or Impossible. I just gotta get back used to this. So, he's gonna double move, I think. Yeah, that was a double. I'm gonna get her starting to move into range. Okay, let's see. I need to move her into some sort of cover here. I can't just leave her out. Um, let's see if I can get a good line of sight for any of this. I'm gonna move her to here uh, I'm gonna move her to here because I feel like I could easily get a flanking shot end up on me if I move to the wrong spot. So I'm gonna throw a grenade, I think. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw a grenade. Let's throw a grenade. Take out this one, this first one with a grenade. How much damage am I... Uh, I'm gonna frag again. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna take the shot. Never mind. Damn it, it only hit for two. I need ammo. That's not good. Overwatch. She might be dead. The one the one standing out in the open may be dead because Oh, oh, miss. No, dude. Because she's out in the open now. I'm hoping keep going. Thank you. Please, please drop him. Drop him. Oh my god, the aim, dude. The aim. Well, I think she's flanked, so I think she's dead. Because it's going to be a critical. Yep. Yep. You know, when you miss two Overwatch shots, that's going to tend to happen. Okay, she can't do anything. That's good, that blew up what I needed, so this is now full cover. Oh my god, the 10%, or the 45% shots, dude. And they cannot hit, worth shit. Can I hit him with a grenade from here? I can, so I'm gonna take this shot. There we go, dead. Thank you. And we're gonna reload her. It doesn't become the Army of Six until I get all the characters set to what I want them to be. Um, then it'll be the Army of Six. Um, I could just grenade him. But I'm going to set up so we can kill him okay. in a more efficient way. Because I think there should only be four enemies. So we're going to set up in Headed a more efficient now. way to get the kill. Headed get the experience now. for someone. Instead of... Roger. I've got my eyes on. I've got my eyes on. Okay. Instead of grenading and losing parts and all that different junk. Now, everybody should take a shot. If he doesn't die, thank you. Everybody hit. Nice. Good work out there, Strike One. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. 
We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. All right, so back to base we go. I think we earned, I think we earned two promotions, but I could be wrong. It may just be one, uh, but I think it's two. Usually you can promote two people. Sometimes it's three. Um, it just kind of depends on how many enemies are there at the beginning. Uh, but Commander to the research labs. Commander all right, so let's see if we leveled up. Uh, but the army is six or like the seven characters that I have that if any of them die, it's G it, it's just over for them. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations, and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Thanks, Bradford. All right. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research okay, labs. Okay, so I got her leveled up to sniper, which is good because she'll be Siri then because I wanted Siri to be a sniper. And a support. Nice. So I've gotten two of what I wanted. I need three supports, a sniper, um, a heavy, and like an assault. I think probably an assault. Uh, but I got two of the three that I wanted, uh, so I'm happy with that. And I'm happy she got a promotion off of one kill. That's good. Um, I think you can spread it around a mate, but uh, the Defender's Medal is now unlocked. Um, the recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Okay, so we got four sectoid corpses, six weapon fragments, ten meld. So we can start Commander, the research you now honor on our different soldiers stuff. By awarding them medals for accomplishments you deem appropriate. You can view and award medals in the barracks. Okay, so here it is. The Defender's Medal. Uh, we can assign the power. Uh, never panic as a result of getting wounded or killed. Med kits heal 2 HP more when used on this soldier. We're going to go with that. I might rename these medals, but for now I'm not going to. The throw it on Sniper, which will be Siri. So, I think for the naming system, I'm just going to... What they are in, like, The Witcher, like... So it'll be Witcher Siri because you only see their last name when you're in game. You don't see their first name, so their I'm first name really doesn't matter. Labs. So their I'm actual first name will just labs. be their last name for me. Um, so I'll get all that set up before the next video. But let's take a look, see how many what we got here. So I'm looking for mostly girls because I'm gonna have to get, which is actually good. I think we got a nice mix. Uh, we actually got a nice little mix of different soldiers there, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Uh, let's see, officer training school. Uh, once I get uh, a troop to to uh, sergeant, I'll be able to get five people out there. Okay, let's go to the research lab. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlin. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay, so we'll start a new research. I'm going to go with a uh, weapon fragment so I can get the I scope. Agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. All right, engineering. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Alright, so let's go ahead and build some items so we can get a med kit, which I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one med kit for now. Uh, and then I'm Command. gonna get some satellites. Our current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Okay, I'm building two because I wanna get them going. Um and then I'll worry about that later. I'm going to start the excavation there. Uh, but satellite uplink is 100 and I need 10. I don't have the 10 engineers. Otherwise, I'd get that. But there's no point to get it right now because, well, I can't build it. 
because I don't have the engineers. Commander so, Commander hangar, Commander. what are we looking at? We got Commander two Commander. with Commander. avalanche missiles. I've been playing Long War, so I don't exactly remember <laughs> um, what the vanilla game was like, what you started with and all that, because uh, I've been playing Long War on my computer. So we'll scan for the next event, and then I'll probably call it an episode. Uh, some of these some of these episodes may be 18 20 to 22 minutes, and some may be 40 to an hour. It's just going to be one mission, uh, and then prep and stuff like that I'll do within the the videos, uh, at either at the end or the beginning, depending on episodes. Uh, Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Okay, so for this, I think I'm going to go for... The, um, actually, I don't think, I, I'm not going to go for Russia. That one doesn't matter. We're probably going to go to St. John's, Canada is the one that I'm probably headed to. I think that one will provide, it gives scientists, which will speed some research up for me. That's more important right now than getting the engineers. You don't really need satellites till month three or four. In the, you don't need more uplink capacity, I guess is what I'm saying, until month three or four, unless you get really unlucky and you fail a mission or something like that. Uh, so we'll probably be heading to St. John's, Canada the next one. Like always, I may change my mind, but that's going to do it for the first episode of uh, XCOM Enemy Within, XCOM 2 Hype uh, with Witcher characters, I guess is what I can call this, but that's a really long title. I don't know what I'll call it, but hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.